Hey guys, welcome to bricks to go Today I'm going to be showing you my custom Lego sushi bar. On the front of the building, I, uh, I added some chopsticks here at the front just to show that it is a sushi bar or an Asian restaurant. Uh, there's also some pink camellia or cherry blossoms. Uh, the Asian style railings on the front there gives it a nice touch as well. And I really like the green color, the sand green. Um, it's a very, very nice Asian color. It goes very well with the pink as well. I like how that all turned out. Um, actually, when I started building this uh, this project, I didn't um, I didn't have an idea of what the building was going to be. I just had a whole bunch of sand green pieces. I wanted to use them up, and I kind of came up with uh, well, it started off with a roof design actually, because um, I had a whole bunch of the uh, see here the the two by two uh, sloped pieces here the curved slope pieces and I need, didn't know what to do with them so I started playing around with the roof and uh, actually built the roof first so this one was kind of a top-down project uh, but I'll, I'll explain the roof a little bit more later um, on the front here we still have uh, the well I guess three patio sections there's the one main one on the, on the bottom floor and then two smaller ones up on the top uh, and then I split them up like that and I cut them in the middle so that you could see right through to the doorway there and the chopsticks and then it didn't um, obstruct the view or the you know the sunlight coming down onto the main patio or the main uh, entrance to the to the restaurant there I'll turn it around just so we can have a quick peek at the back you can see it's a very simple um, back to the building. We have uh, some garbage cans out here in the front or in the on the back, sorry. Um, and this uh, column here is actually just housing the uh, the stove inside and the ventilation system for the kitchen. It's also just to give the building a little bit of depth, so it's not so flat across the back, because otherwise it would be very flat. And I really don't like. Um, I don't like flat buildings. I like when there's uh, where there's depth and there's um, different angles and things going on. <clears throat> so I'll turn this around and we'll have a look on the first floor. So on the first floor here, we have the main patio section, which has two tables, um, a chair on each table. The inside has a traditional. Uh, sushi counter there with the two bar stools um, a bit of sushi on the counter on the other side there's the two fridges behind the uh, behind the staircase we have the Asian banister there and uh, here's the stove where it resides in that uh, in that jut out in the back of the building there in here the second floor features two balconies, each with separate doors, one there and one there. And this is to leave that uh, gap in the middle here to display the chopsticks and uh, leave leave light coming through to the, the main entrance to the building. These uh, outside patio tables have two chairs on them, here and here. And then on the inside, we have a table, a large table with four chairs. So a party table or a family table or something like that. Let's law along with uh, some, some Asian plants here and on the back there. And another Asian banister. And then of course here we just have the entrance to the stairwell, which leads down to the first floor. So as I mentioned before, the roof was actually the first thing I designed. Now I had a lot of problems building the roof. Uh, the, the main problem was that this angle here of the, the roof itself made it very hard to connect it to the module, the roof module. Um, I tried a whole bunch of different ways, you know, using uh, hinged bricks here and here and using different angled, uh, angled plates and uh, even connecting it with pins at the top. But nothing seemed to really give it the angle that I wanted it to. Um, 
And so I came up with this solution that's actually just to not have it connected at all. It just rests on these grooves here that are created by these wedge plates and regular plates along the bottom. Creates a little groove there. And that just rests along these cheese slopes on the side. And to give the roof itself some rigidity, it's held together with these hinge plates here and then connected um, by these studs here. So the contact with these um, wedge plates is actually made on the studs and not the brick itself here. And that gives it that little bit of extra gap right there to make it fit perfectly on the inside of the roof like that. And so now it's it's it doesn't it doesn't go anywhere. It's not moving anywhere. As long as I don't hold it upside down, it's not going to fall off. And that also means that it's hollow on the inside here, so you can see through in the windows there down onto the onto the second floor and everything. All right, and there we have it, guys. Uh, if you like this build, uh, leave some feedback or a thumbs up in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more LEGO videos, and I'll see you next time.